This lesson is menswear kurta. We are going to learn about the kurta with the seam allowance. Being this as a loose garment, we are going to make the draft along with the seam allowance. And also we need the menswear measurement as the length 34 inches and the chest round 36 inches, shoulder 17 inches, natural waist length 17 inches, then the sleeve length 24 inch, sleeve round is 12 inches. Now we are going to start the draft. First draw the center line Draw a perpendicular line the length should be marked as thirty four inches plus one inch. Start from zero and then mark 34 inches plus 1 inch for the allowance and draw a perpendicular line. Now mark 1 and 0 2 is equal to chest by 4 plus quarter inch. So, 9 plus quarter, 9 and a quarter should be marked. This is 2 and 0 3 is the natural waist length 17 plus quarter, 17 and quarter this is 3. Draw perpendicular line from center as the base line. Then mark shoulder. 0 4 is equal to off shoulder plus quarter inch. Shoulder 17 off shoulder is 8 and a half plus quarter 8 3 by 4 square down 5 from 4 So, this is the center line. For front and back, shoulder line, chest line, waist line and bottom line. 2 to 6 is equal to chest by 4 plus 2 inches. Three, 3 to 7 chest by 4 plus 1 and a quarter inch. One to eight is chest by four plus four inch. Nine plus four is thirteen inches. Now join six seven then. Join 
7 and 8. Join 7 and 8. Mark 1 inch from 8 is 9 and draw a curve from 1 to 9. Now we are going to draw the neckline. Neck 0 to 10 is 1 twelfth of chest. Three inches and zero to thirteen is three three by eight inches. One twelfth of chest plus three eighth of an inch. So ten eleven. This is for neck width zero to ten is neck width one twelfth of chest and the front neck drop is 0 to 11 is 1 twelfth of chest plus 3 by 8 inch. Now 4 to 12 is 1 inch. And 13 is 5 to 13 is 1 inch. 12 to 13 is mid. So 14 is 14 is mid of 12 to 13. And take 15 half an inch inside. Join. Join 10 and 12 and then draw the armhole from 12, 15, 13 and 6 as front armhole. Draw the armhole from 12, 15, 13 then 6. The front armhole is done. The front neck is from 10 to 11. It should be flat at the center front for 3 8 of an inch. Now the front body is done. Then we need to do the back. First, go up by one inch and then more quarter inch inside. So, 10 to 16, 10 to 16 is one inch up and 10, 16 to 17 is quarter inch. Mark. One twelve to eighteen as one inch. Join seventeen and eighteen. And draw the neck from zero to seventeen by one centimeter, one inch flat. We should check the measurement of the front shoulder should be equal to back shoulder. The front shoulder is 
5 7 by 8 mark 5 7 by 8 at here then draw the armhole back armhole should fall on this line this point is 18. Now, front open, front open is 1 fourth of chest plus half an inch, 9 and a half an inch from the 11. So, 11 to 19, 11 to 19 is 1 fourth of chest plus quarter and draw the opening by quarter inch away this is for front opening now we are going to design the pocket it is a side pocket mark 1 inch above the waistline this is for pocket mouth Pocket mouth starts 1 inch above the waistline and the pocket mouth length should be chest by 6. So, 6 inches we are marking for the pocket mouth 20, 21 then you have to mark chest by 10. So, 3.6. So, this is for the slit opening, so 21 to 9 is the side opening for the kurta. So, the pocket mouth is from 20 to 21 and the joining will be from 21 to 22, then to 22 to 9 is the side slit. Now we are going to draw the sleeve for men's kurta. The sleeve length is 24 inches and the sleeve round is 12 inches. Draw perpendicular line for the center of the sleeve. So this is the center line. The sleeve length is 24 inches. And the crown depth is chest by 12 plus seam allowance 3 eighth of an inch. So 3, 3 eighth and draw perpendicular line as by line. Now take this measurement as one fourth of chest, nine inches, and mark two inch from here and connect this point and draw a perpendicular line for the bottom also. The bottom round is 12 inch, we should mark off bottom 12 plus seam allowance and join the side seam from bicep line to the wrist line. And then we should draw the armhole curve.
divide this into three equal parts. And the first should have three fourth of an inch and three eighth of an inch and draw curve. And then for the front sleeve, take 3 eighth of an inch and half an inch down from here and draw the front curve. Zero 01 sleeve length plus half an inch, zero 02 the crown depth, chest by 12 plus 3 eighth of an inch, and 2 to 3 is 1 fourth of chest, 1 to 4 is of arm round plus half an inch and draw the perpendicular line and connect 3 and 4 and 0 5 is 2 inch join 5 and 3 and divide this 5 and 3 into equal 3 division and mark 6 7. 6 to 8, 6 8 is 3 fourth of an inch above and 7 9 is 3 eighth of an inch above and draw the back arm hole from 0, 5, 8, 9 and 3 and the front arm hole draw mark 9 to 10 as half an inch down and draw the front arm hole from 0, 5 in between 8 and 6, then 10, then 3. And you can allow the allowance, if it is a narrow hem, the hem allowance is included with this. If you want to give 1 inch hem allowance, we should add the hem elements at the bottom. Now the side pocket, draw a straight line on fold. The sleeve should also be on fold and mark one sixth of chest plus half an inch, then one third of First mark one sixth of chest plus half an inch, then one third of chest plus one inch, and draw perpendicular line. One 
is one sixth of chest plus half an inch, one to two is one third of chest plus half an inch, then one three is one twelfth of chest plus half an inch, and two four is one twelfth of chest plus half an inch, and at zero it is half an inch. So, join join 3 and 4 as a straight line, then join this as a curve. This is for the pocket, back, on fold and the grain line should be the straight grain and we need to cut two piece. The sleeve should also be on straight grain and cut two piece. Now the kurti piece front back sleeve and pocket bag is over. This is the test fit of a men's kurta which has the long sleeve and the front and back portion and then the open at the center front and the side slit and it has the design of pocket also. The neck is being little wider and it can be designed for attaching the collar, mandarin collar can be attached along with it. The back and front length should be equal and it has to fall as straight because of the loose it, it cannot go inside, it will be flat fit as flat from the shoulder blade. The front will also be the same, it will fit as flat and the bottom sweep can be little extra than the body size. This lesson is for men's pyjama, it is also the loose garment. We are going to draw the pattern with the seam elements because of the loose garment. The measurements which you are required is the length 40 inches and the seat measurement or the hip round is 38 inches and the bottom hem round is 21 inches and it is going to be with the self hem at the waistline and with the drawstring and then the bottom will be finished with the hemline which has two side pocket. Now we are going to draw the pattern. It starts from the top with the perpendicular line, 0 1 is the length 40 inches and this is the side. And we need to allow one and a half an inch above for the hem elements and one and a quarter inch below at the bottom for the bottom hem elements. Now you are marking the crotch line that is seat by 3. It is 12 5 by 8 and mark three and draw a horizontal line as the crotch line. Now mark 3 to 4 as seat by 3 that is one third of the seat plus 1 inch is around 12 5 by 8 plus 1 inch 13 5 by 8.
and square up this line this is 4, 5 and 6. Now, four seven is equal to hip by twenty four. This is three point three one by eight. And the hem elements one to eight is of bottom hem twenty one by two ten and a half. Then we should mark nine that is mid of four to seven and join. 9 and 8. One ten is one and a quarter inch. Ten eleven is one eight plus quarter inch. And twelve is one third of one third of eight to eleven. And then join seven and twelve. There, this is front in leg seam. Seven, twelve, and eight, eleven is front in leg seam. Now Measure mark thirteen. Thirteen is one third of five to fourteen, five to four. Thirteen is one third of five to four, and then draw the front crotch shape. From five thirteen and seven, the front is done. For the back, we should mark here seat by twelve, that is three one by eight. 14 and mark the mid of it 15 then mark one and a half an inch from 8 and one and a half an inch from 11 as 16 and 17. Join fifteen and sixteen
Now draw the back in shape to the level of find the level of the same and mark 18. 18 is the level of 12 and then draw the inseam of the back. from 14, 18 and 16. Now join 6 and 6 and 9 and mark 3 by 4 inches. 3 by 4 inches above from 6 that is 19 and measure this measurement this is 14 3 by 4 inch and take one third of it it is 4 5 4 7 by 8 mark 20. Now draw the back crotch shape from 20 to 14 and 14 to 21 is 3 8 of an inch. And draw the back cross shape from back cross shape is from 19, 20 and 21. Then join 19 and 2. Now mark one and a half an inch below from 0 as 22 and mark he by 6 as the pocket mouth. That is 23 and this is for the pocket mouth. The pocket bag is draw perpendicular line and take this as one third of the hip that is 12 5 by 8 plus half an inch then this measurement as one sixth of seat and this measurement as one sixth of seat plus one inch and join so here a B is equal to one third of seat plus half an inch. AC is equal to one sixth of seat. BD is equal to one sixth plus one inch, one sixth seat plus one inch. And E should go above by three eighth of an inch and connect. Now mark F as 2 inch above and draw the curve for the bottom and this should be on fold 
cut number 2 the grain line is this for the pocket bag and for the trouser that pyjama this is the grain line this line is the front and detached line is the back and cut number 2 for both right and left leg and the back this elevens is the hem elevens for the back and this elevens is the hem elevens for the front and this elevens or the hem elevens at bottom and all the elevenses are included in this pattern so it is a loose fitted pyjama which has been finished the waistband with the drawstring or with elastic and the bottom is wide. We can wear this as a night pyjama or night dress also. This is the test fit of a pyjama. Pyjama is a loose fitted garment. It is being cut as left leg separately, right leg separately. It has the inseam but it does not have the outseam. The front and the back will be taken on one piece and it will be attached in the cross seam front and back together. And the waistline is being with a self folding and bottom is also with the self folding. This is being used for a nightwear and for a outerwear also. This is for the men's pyjama. Now we are going to draft the Kalitar Kurta which has the front panel and the side panel for both front and back and a square armhole sleeve and a gusset piece and which has the center front open. The first we need to Mark the length, length is 38 inches, mark the length 38 inches and draw a perpendicular line and mark A, B. So, AB is equal to length plus 1 inch including seam allowance. AC is off shoulder, the shoulder 17 inch, off shoulder 8 and a half. Uh, 
and square down the line. AD is equal to chest by 4, one fourth of chest, then 10 and half. And draw perpendicular line. To AD. This line is the center line. And this is the chest line. And this is the guide for shoulder line. Then C is square down to E. And it has to square down to F. C is square down to E and F. B is squared as a bottom line. D G D G is equal to chest by 4 plus 3 inches. B H is equal to chest by 4 plus 4 and a half inch. C I is 1 inch. A J is equal to A J is equal to chest by 12 minus 3 eighth of an inch. A K is equal to chest by 12 3 and a half an inch. The chest measurement is 42 and chest by 12 is 3 and a half an inch. Now join shoulder from IJ. And draw a perpendicular line to the EC is for the center sleeve. Draw the neckline from Draw the front neck from J to K K L J L is equal to one inch. J L is equal to one inch. Square up square up to 1 inch and join LJ and join LI for the back shoulder and the back neck is from 
A L. So, this is for back, neck and back shoulder and this point is for the front neck and front shoulder and front opening is one fourth of chest. K m is equal to one fourth of chest, ten and a half inch. This is for front opening. Draw line three eighth of an inch away from the center line for the opening. Now join G and H. I O a sleeve length plus half an inch. Sleeve length is 25 inches plus half an inch, 25 and a half as to mark and mark O and O P is equal to 1 inch and draw perpendicular line from O, draw perpendicular line from O and from P. OQ is arm sleeve, wrist to arm round open and PS is equal to arm open plus 3 by 4 inches. Here this is a arm opening plus half an inch and here it should be plus 3 by 4 inches. So, arm opening is uh, 11 inch, 11 by 2 is uh, 5 and a half plus half an inch mark 6 inches and here 6 and a quarter for the M axis. R is equal to 1 inch, E R 1 inch, R T is equal to 1 and a quarter inch down. Now join I T. And then QT So the sleeve is done. Now we are going to mark the allowances for the side pocket and for the slit.
Now we are going to mark the pocket opening after S T U. G U is equal to one sixth of chest as seven inches, and U V is also the pocket mark opening chest by six as seven inches. Then V W is one tenth of chest. That is four point two. This portion is going to be the pocket opening. And this is going to be the slit, side slit. So, we finish front, back, sleeve and the side panel. Now, we are going to draw the pocket. Draw a perpendicular line. And the pocket bag cover piece should be one sixth of chest plus one inch. And here with one third of chest the width should be totally one sixth of the chest it's 3.5 3.5 here mark half an inch on both side and join So, A B is equal to pocket mouth plus half an inch, B C is equal to this is pocket mouth plus half an inch or chest by 6 plus half an inch, B C is equal to chest by 3 plus half an inch and uh, C D is equal to chest by 12, C E is equal to chest by 12, B F chest by 12, B G chest by 12, A I half an inch, A J half an inch. Now join I F and G J. This is the pocket back piece, and then we should draw a gusset piece, draw a perpendicular line, four inch by four inch. The square piece of 4 inch to be cut as a gusset piece. Stop. 
the grain line of the center piece should be parallel to the center and the grain line of the side piece is also parallel line to the center and here we must cut the front on fold, front and back should be on fold. and front cut one and the back cut one. Side panel cut four. We should cut the side panel as four. Cut. Sleeve piece the center sleeve should be on fold and sleeve should be cut 2 and this is the pocket bag two pocket cut 2. This is the gasset cut 2. So, these are the component to be cut for the Kalidar Kurta, front on fold 1, back on fold 1, sleeve 2, side panel 2 and the pocket bag two and then gesset piece two. The bottom hem can be finished with a narrow hem and the seam allowance is being given as half an inch for each side. This is the test fit of a Kalithar Kurta which has the front panel, side panel, sleeve and the Kali piece. The fr front and back shoulder is attached to the shoulder and at the shoulder line the front piece has the joint and the sleeve and the Kali piece is attached together and it frame a square sleeve and for the excess of ease the gasset is being attached under the armhole and the neck is fitting exactly on the neckline. The center open is given and then the side is being finished with a continuous seam and uh, there is a pocket opening and the side seam and the slit is being provided. We need to check the hemline at the front and the back must be equal and the neckline has to be close to it. The fit is a close fit, sorry, but excess of ease at the chest line and the bottom, bottom has the sweep. 